what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? An enraged guest at a hotel in Atlanta viciously attacked a hotel employee over a dispute that started over incidental charges. Family, I'll tell you out the gate, I can relate. Not to the fight, but the incidentals. This is why every time I check out of a hotel, it doesn't matter if they say, Mr. Dennis, you're okay, the bill's okay, everything's okay. No, I'm going to the front desk to get a copy of my bill so that I can have proof in writing that I did not get charged for any services or products that I did not use. This happened at Embassy Suites by Hilton Atlanta Galleria, a billion dollar franchise. If the guest felt that her bill was incorrect, all she had to do was go down to the lobby and let the people know. If she didn't get the results that she wanted from the employees, she could have took it up a notch, asked for a supervisor, manager, whatever. If that didn't work, then what do you do, fam? Call corporate. This way, She's more than likely, if she was correct, to get things to go her way. Sometimes, even if you're wrong, corporate will just let it slide. Like, you know what? It ain't worth it. Go ahead. We've uh, reviewed your bill and, you know, we've credited your account and blah, blah, blah. Right? So she would have been allowed to go along her merry way. And that would have been in the past. But now she got the bill. <laughs> and court fees, and lawyer fees, and a pending criminal record. It's very seldom do I use hotel uh, items that are left in the room for purchase, because as you know, they will charge you $75 for a can of Coke. I don't purchase items out of hotel rooms. The last time I made a purchase, was when I was in Vegas about, what was that? When was that Floyd Mayweather Pacquiao fight? That's the last time I actually made a purchase from a hotel room. Now, I will order room service, I'll do that. But let's get back to the story. This woman attacks the hotel worker because she didn't think that the bill was fair. She felt that she was being charged for incidentals. Some people said that the hotel worker went too far with defending herself. Fam, what I want to know is, how do you go too far defending yourself? Okay, if someone attacks you. They don't get to decide how much force you defend yourself with. Like, people take anger to different levels. Like, you would think that, well, you know, if somebody pushed me, I won't pull out a gun and kill them. But you don't know. You know, like, there's different levels of anger. And one don't really know how they would respond until they're actually put in that situation. I just believe that just like with the Joy Zimmerman situation, you don't get to start a fight, get your ass whooped, and then play the victim. People were saying that the, that the hotel employee went too far. Nah, I don't think the hotel employee went far enough. And whatever they was fighting over, in this case, incidentals, 
It really wasn't worth it. It is so sad to see people act that way. You got two black women fighting in the hotel lobby like cats and dogs. That is totally embarrassing. Now, before some of you start leaving comments like, see, that's why they don't like us. That's why they treat us like that. Before black lives can matter, they have to matter to us before they matter to somebody else. Man, save all of that. Those are some of the dumbest comments that people have ever written. Everybody needs to stand on their own merit. Yes, it is embarrassing, but it's more embarrassing to them because they're the ones who was out there fighting in the damn lobby like fools. And the woman who was the guest, oh, believe you me, her next, the next place she's going to be a guest at is in the county jail because she is going to jail. Straight up foolishness, man. Everybody stands on their own merit. You go out there and you do something stupid, you go to jail, not me. I'm gonna be chilling. Make a video about it. That's about the most I'm gonna do. You on your own. If I jump out there and I do something stupid, what y'all gonna do? Y'all gonna get online and comment about it. So that's what it is. You know, like everybody stands on their own merit. It would be nice if I... If, if all of our people act civilized, but most of our people are civilized. It's that small percentage. Oh man, it's a small percentage that be doing way too much. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna be chilling. But what do y'all think? Did the hotel employee go too far in defending herself? Drop a comment. No more talk. What, what, what the ladies talking about? Yeah.